His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. I think it's quite amazing on how many texts are coming in and some of the calls of people absolutely convinced that the person on His Morning Crew, the crew here inside this His Morning Crew studio, they think Allie's the one who's going to get their head shaved for St. Baltic's. Yeah, uh, Gloria texted, Allison, you can do it. Give wigs for kids. See? Oh, but Dan says, don't shave Allison's head. Let Rob do it. And then Julie says, how about everyone shaves their head? And we can only do one. And it should be you. Or Allison. <laughs> It should be Rob, really. I mean, come on. Or Allison. You have a nice shaped head. Well, yeah, but the hashtag has just gone viral of Team Allison for the whole shaped head it thing. It has not. Yeah, look. Uh huh. That a See? graphic. It's does already. Not mean it's viral. It's already there. As a matter of fact, Dreama from uh, Ivy Salon is on her way with the Clippers. This is how serious this is. Eight thirty. It's going to happen. Okay. So here's Abby. Abby, you have some thoughts about St. Baldrick's Day. Um, my son actually was diagnosed with cancer at six years old, and he's now 10 and in remission. But when he um, was going through cancer, he decided he wanted to grow his hair out for another little girl with cancer. And he ended up going a year and a half and growing his hair. And then he shaved with another organization, um, which was started locally called Versus Cancer, and shaved his head with the Duke baseball team and then donated um, his hair. And I wanted to comment to Allie if she's going to um, donate, if she would donate to an organization that um, gave hair for pediatric cancer. Um, Children with Hair Loss is a great one that does kids with cancer, but that last caller just got to me on the, her little girl that shaved her head. I'm crying here. And that's so sweet. What did walking through that with your son, how did that change your faith? You know, I don't know how anybody gets through that kind of stuff without God because uh, my walk with Christ grows every day, but even more so during that journey and more so because of him. At six years old, we'd sit at Duke and he wouldn't let nurses touch him. And at first, Lots of times they'd think, you know, he was just, you know, trying not to get a needle poked, but he would say, no, we need to pray first. A nurse wouldn't poke him until he prayed or I prayed for him, and I never prompted him to do that. And some days we'd go in there, and I would honestly forget, and I'd be like, let's just get this IV line in, let's just go. And he'd be like, no, we need to pray. So he's been my light through all of this. Yeah, what a champion he is, Cindy. Absolutely amazing. And I do agree. I think because Allie has like five feet of hair. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm hmm. It's already gone viral. It's too much to Hashtag handle with a shaver. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. It'll go quick. I agree. It'll yep. go quick. Team Allison. Somebody. Literally. <laughs> it's going to happen. Dreama from Ivy Salon is on her way over. As we speak, she's got the clippers. She's got the cape. Somebody's head's going to be shaved. It could be me. It could be Allison. It's going to be one person. I guarantee you, one person in the studio of his morning crew is going to have their head shaved. You'll look so great, bald. 